Helen here, as always, and a huge welcome back to the channel and a big thank you to each and every single one of you for your continued love and support for this, my very own little creative corner of the internet here on YouTube. Now, this week is my second week for celebrating April's International Dance Day and we're going to get back to some sewing and some really easy pattern drafting. We're going to create something that is iconic when it comes to one of my favourite dance forms, ballet. We're going to create a wrap skirt and a little hint here to my friends, this is also a great beach or summer cover up. So grab some floaty fabric and your pattern making paper and a pen. Let's get to some drafting. So grab a pen, a ruler, some paper and your usual sewing supplies and let's get creating. We're going to start by grabbing the pattern that I created for my recent vintage robe. We're going to use the skirt portion. And if you haven't made your own pattern yet, yes, you've guessed it, there's a card above and a link in the description box too. Beginning with the front skirt pattern piece, start by deciding how long you want your wrap skirt to be. It can be as long or as short as you like. Then plot this chosen length along the centre front and then along the width of the skirt before drawing a nice curved line to create the hemline of your skirt front. Repeat this exact process on your back piece. I'm going to make the front of the skirt have a nice curved edge. So the last step to my pattern is to draw in that style line as you can see here. And that's the pattern finished. Remember it has no seam allowances so be sure to add those my friends. The fabric I've got for my skirt today is a simple black chiffon and because I'm creating a shorter length I need less than a metre so it's an easy, quick and frugal project today. is cut out of my chiffon it's time to think about the waist tie so hitting up the fabric stash I found this black scuba to create that tie cutting a long length two inches wide that is at least twice the length of my waist measurement time to get sewing and this really is such a quick project today Start with those side seams and I'm using a French seam here so the inside of my garment is nice and neat with no frayed edges. To sew a French seam, begin with wrong sides together using half your seam allowance before then turning your garment so right sides are facing and seaming again, encasing the first raw edge inside. Magic! Side seams done, it was time to sew the hem, choosing to do this now before attaching the waist tie for a really clean finish. First up, a line of gathering stitching inside the seam allowance all around the lower hem edge of the skirt. This will help me turn that curved edge in once and then twice for a lovely neat hem, pulling on the bobbin threads to help that curved edge lay flat. Give it a good press too my friends. Time to attach that waist tie, pinning it all around the top edge of my skirt, right sides together, matching the centre back of the skirt to the centre of the tie. The sections of tie that are independent from the skirt on either side are pinned in half lengthways, right sides together, before we can stitch it. 
tie sewn, believe it or not, that's the wrap skirt finished. It's reveal time. Well, my friends, I am delighted with how well this wrap skirt has turned out. And that little trick for using a gathering stitch to hem the curved edge worked brilliantly. Not only for dance, but this little skirt makes a perfect summer cover-up too. Perfect for those beach days and holidays. And hopefully I'll soon be feeling able to get back to dancing and sewing new ribbons on my brand new point shoes too. But until next week, my friends, you take care. Bye.